Game 3 of the World Series, with the Pittsburgh Pirates at the Cleveland Mat Naps. The series is tied 1-1. to -one. Bill Bernard pitching for Cleveland. Ginger Beaumont, the leadoff walk. Top of the first, Beaumont on second, Honus Wagner the battery. It's a ball down the line. Past the first baseman, Charlie Hickman. Honus Wagner around second, headed to third. Ginger Beaumont from second, scores easily. And a triple for Honus Wagner. Beaumont crosses the plate, an RBI triple. The Pirates lead one to nothing in the top of the first inning. Two to one lead in the top of the fourth now. That Ginger Beaumont was up with Ed Phelps on second, Kitty Bransfield on third. Two outs and a base hit up the middle. Very clutched from Ginger Beaumont, who is having a very good series at this point. Uh, single scores two. The score is four to one. Pirates over the Naps in the top of the fourth inning. Bill Bernard now batting with John Gauchner at second base in the bottom of the fifth inning. And Bill, ba Bill Bernard with a base hit into left field, which scores Gauchner. So a much needed run there for Cleveland in the bottom of the fifth inning as Gauchner does score. And Bill Bernard comes through, 4-2, Pittsburgh. Still the bottom of the fifth inning. Now it's Elmer Flick with a 3-2 count, and he draws the walk. So Bernard advances to second base, Flick to first. Inning still alive, Jack Thoney the batter. Jack Thoney does pop it up. Uh, just past second base, Honus Wagner was out to get it, retires the side, the threat was averted. Moves all the way down to the bottom of the seventh inning now. Harry Bay batting. He takes four in a row as Brickyard Kennedy puts the leadoff runner on first. It's Harry Bay. Next up was Harry Bemis, who lined it into right field for a base hit. Harry Bay went all the way from first to third without a problem. As Sebring lobs the ball back in. So the Naps have a rally. John Gauchner, the batter. First and third, John Gauchner hits it up the middle right at the second baseman. It was a good play by Richie who threw it over to Wagner, but even better, even a better slide. Bay was able to score on the play here. Gauchner was able to get to first base. Gauchner tried to steal on a payoff pitch. Bill Bernard struck out, but John Gauchner was able to swipe second base. So that brought up Elmer Flick. The 0-2 pitch to Elmer Flick, they decided to not walk Flick here and get to Jack Thoney, who was uh, very cold in this, at this point of the World Series. And Elmer Flick makes him pay. John Gauchner, second, steals from, or but stolen base to second, really did not matter as Elmer Flick's triple would have scored Gauchner anyways. Uh, but Elmer Flick ties the game here at four. And then Jack Thoney did strike out as he chases a pitch on the strike zone and gets his second strikeout for Brickyard Kennedy. And we fast forward here to the bottom of the eighth inning. It was Nap Lajaway with a gap shot into the left field corner. Left center. Left center gap. Not quite the corner. But Ginger Beaumont was able to field the ball in time to avoid an inside the park home run, but Nap Lajaway was able to get to third base with a triple and then Charlie Hickman hit a sharp ground ball. Honus Wagner tried to scoop it up. Nap Lajoie was running on contact. He scores and it's a 5-4 lead for Cleveland as Charlie Hickman knocks in one with the single. It's the top of the ninth inning. Bill Bernard still in there. Otto Kruger does lace one into left field for a base hit. Puts the tying run on first base with no outs. I brought up Ginger Beaumont. A lot of times you see them bunt in this situation. It was a 2-2 count instead. So the bunt was off, and it worked just the same as a sacrifice as Chick Charlie Hickman feels the ground ball, but takes it to first. So one out, runner on second, and it was Fred Clark who lined it into right field. Elmer Flick got a really good read on it and made the diving catch to rob Fred Clark of potentially tying the game. That brought up Honus Wagner. The 0-2 pitch to Honus Wagner was hit in the air to Elmer Flick. And Elmer Flick puts it away. Cleveland wins the dis very important Game 3 in the best of nine series. Cleveland takes two in a row over Pittsburgh and now leads the series 2-1 to one in 1903 World Series.
The player of the game was John Godstar, the winner was Bill Bernard, and the loser was Brickyard Kennedy, as the Naps clipped the Pirates 5-4 in the World Series contest.